Hey friends, it's John Asraf, and I'm sitting here in my office and uh, I've got a whole bunch of questions that people ask me all the time. So I thought I'd take some time and maybe answer each question for you, uh, maybe two or three minutes, just to help get you thinking the right way. One of the questions that people ask me all the time is, you know, why is it so hard to become wealthy? And not just wealthy financially, but you know, to have spiritual wealth, relationship wealth, uh, financial wealth, uh, wealth in your health, wealth in your spiritual growth. And the answer is most people don't have their priorities of what's most important to them. And so they're doing things every single day, reacting to what life throws at them. And they don't have the skills or the knowledge on how to adjust the sales. And so the way to become wealthy in every area of your life is to first determine what is the most important part of your life. Is it your health? Is it your wealth? Is it your relationships? Then to prioritize it and say, you know, of all the things that I have that make me feel wealthy, this is the one and this is the two and this is the three that I want to focus on the most. And when you start to give your brain the instruction of what to focus on, two things happen. Number one, it deletes and distorts anything else that doesn't line up with the bullseye or the target of what it is you want to achieve. But number two, which is really important, is it actually starts to work for you to find the things that you deem important. So when you get clear about exactly what you want to achieve, exactly what being wealthy means to you, and you can define it very, very clearly, that sets up the bullseye for your brain to think about, for your brain to see, for your brain to help you focus on. And there are so many different parts of your brain that are involved in the acquisition or in the wealth creation mode. But what you want to do is start with your clarity, start with your purpose and your vision, and most importantly, start with the belief that you can do it and that you will do it. Make a commitment to yourself not to be the type of person who just sets his or her goals, but the type of person who is going to achieve their goals. Become a go-giver as you become a go-getter and go and achieve all of your goals. If you like a little bit about what's on this little video, click on the link below on this page. There's lots of great stuff that we've got and learn more so you can earn more and have more and be more.